this is Megan and she accommodated Jeffrey to the next class because he wanted to decorate a puppy. So now she gets, she does the introduction and then they will decorate shortly. This is Cupcake Decoration Part 2 with Megan. She's very nice and she accommodated Jeffrey to the next class. That would be the meat. The brown one would be the meat for the burger. And again, place it in the center of the table. And then like I said before, on the table for you guys, I'll do it up here so you guys can see. You're just going to cut a tiny, tiny bit, little piece off the top of your chocolate cupcake. And you can either eat that piece or you can toss it in the center of the table. But the best part of this class is that you guys can eat the cupcakes, right? Oh, well, eating is good. All right. That looks really so we're gonna do next yummy is already. We're going to take our lettuce and we're going to unwrap it. Bottom piece, okay? You guys can either 
So far, this class looks like a lot of fun. Just look at that. Messy is definitely in. Uh, that's the best part. Of it. Make sure you always squeeze from the top of the pastry bags when you use these, okay? Or it'll all come out and make a really big mess. So what you want to do is you want to roll this oh. down. Yeah. And you want to roll it down like your toothpaste, okay? All right. And then you should have holes at the bottom of them, but if not, let me know and I will cut some. So if you can, I guess one uh, is male and one boy represents the ketchup. So you have two icing. Ketchup and And you'll do the same exact thing with your uh, ketchup. So you just want, you just want to squeeze it all the way down and roll it up on your face, okay? I had the whole. Where are you? <laughs> That's what it was. I apologize. It wasn't mayo. It was mustard. Here you go. So you have the cheese, you have the lettuce, you have the pickle, you have the patty. You have um, the um, ketchup and you have the mustard. So this definitely looks like a very fun activity. Oh. Yeah. oh. Probably the best mustard right. and the best then ketchup on the chip. In the middle of the table, you just want to place a little dot. Make sure that your icing is coming out. Okay? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we are done with our prep work. We're going to start putting all this together now, okay? So the first one we want to do is we want to take our bottom bun that we cut from earlier. So you will place it off to the side because you want to still leave room for your french fries and uh, uh, your ketchup and french fries and all that stuff, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our mustard and in a uh, what we call a hook and fly, you're just going to make a little circle in the middle and you're just going to go and draw it out like a flower. And you want to make sure it shows on the edge of the sides because this this is all going to get covered up and so you won't be able to see it on the outside whenever you are uh, finished. Careful, okay. what's up? It's okay, you won't be able to see it. But just make sure you don't use all of your mustard and all of your ketchup because you will need it a few more times during the, the class, okay? And as you go, it, as you use your icing, you want to keep rolling your icing bag down. So that way it's, it's easier to pipe it, okay? Alright. So next what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our hamburger patties and place it on top of there. Yeah, 
They're going to make um, burgers. They're going to decorate burgers. Next one, they're going to make, I guess, puppies. They alternate. So this is interesting. I guess this is the icing right here. And then that's the decorating. And she's bringing some more accoutrements to put. People are very excited. Uh, this is not a cheap class, um, so make sure if you do want to take it, make sure that you are you ask them in advance what it is that they're decorating that day, because there's nothing nothing worse than having your kid want the puppy when you're decorating or she's decorating a burger. So since I just found out that they do burgers and then puppies and then they switch over. Make sure, if you want either one, that you actually um, ask for it in advance. Jeffrey had quite the little meltdown because he wanted the puppy and he was, I guess, registered for the burgers. So they had to accommodate him for next class and put him in the puppy class. I'm sure the burger will look just as pretty. Okay, they're putting sugar. I think it's sugar. Oh, there you go, the cupcakes are arriving. I guess you get two cupcakes just in case you botch one, you get the alternate, <laughs> the air and the spare kind of theory. So I guess for my son, they'll just put a row of six. <laughs> one of them will turn out right. I was trying to convince him actually decorating a burger does not seem as hard as decorating a puppy. But we'll see. Uh -huh. No, I'm we sorry. Yeah. What is that? Uh, that what, what is what, sprinkles? Sprinkles. Okay. Sprinkles. sprinkles. There's nothing without sprinkles. You have to <laughs> decorate. And this is uh, this is a good lettuce. Very tasty lettuce. Mm. Grandma can buy the other one. Right. Mm. 
Well, kids are kind of excited. I expected to see younger kids here, but I guess the younger kids, it might they might find this a little difficult. I do like the way that they um, put the saran wrap on the table. That looks very good. Wish I could do that in my own home. Are you recording? Yes. Oh, somebody's already. Oh, they're get they get three of them to decorate. Even better. The burger. So yeah, the brown one would be the burger. Yes. So I guess you get to cut the brown and make it a burger. Oh, he's a courageous young man. Oh, the panda just bumped me on his way. He's somewhat large. And he's walking the promenade, tasting every food with his his um, posse. Oh, there you go, cute panda. back to our cupcakes that was a very cute diversion and this is all everything is on the table so now we're waiting for the instruction to begin um, they're taking a few minutes and they will begin shortly this is part one of cake decorating cupcakes decorating actually finale and then you're burger gonna cupcakes pieces. Uh, pickles, okay? So, it's gonna look like a Johnny Rocket style cheeseburger. It broke? It broke? It's okay, you don't have to use both of them. You can just use one if you want. So, here you have it. This is right. Freedom of the Seas, the cupcake lesson. Decorating cupcakes. Okay? Oh. We're just gonna peel this off. And again, comes the french fries. And with your knife again, and again, you guys are doing it on the table, I might do it on the table. Excuse me, after, uh, after I cut up a little bit, what you want to do is you want to um, just cut it into slices. You want to go one, two, three, and you can do as many and as skinny as you want or as thick as you want. If you like your uh, french fries, like like steak fries, really thick, or if you like doing shoe string, you can do it really thick. Having fun eating up. their French fries and burgers already. Just toss them onto our plate. Mm -hmm. oh. It's okay if you're you're uh, and then you put some ketchup on top, I guess. Bit. Those can serve as your crunchy pieces. Sometimes those are the best. Okay. And then with your remaining uh, ketchup and mustard, what I like to do is I like to put a little ketchup on top, and then I like to put some on the side for dipping. And then I'll put some mustard on the side too. And this is, I guess, the finale now. And then, after that, what you want to do is with your leftover sprinkles, maybe just sprinkle a little bit on top. Thank you, Aaron. Okay. And you guys are all now cupcake decorators. Good job. Did a fantastic job. Well, that was the cupcake decorating lesson. It looks like a lot of fun. You should try it. Right? Freedom of the Seas, so spring 2000.